Jack Nicholson is enjoying the fruits of his success with his main mansion in Beverly Hills, California, along with another property just a drive away in Malibu. Over the years, he also had a vacation home located in Colorado. And don't those mountains remind you of one of his most iconic characters? In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jack Nicholson is an American actor who requires little to no introduction as one of the most award-nominated performers in the history of Hollywood. Oh, and he also just happens to be one of the wealthiest actors ever, having amassed a nearly 400 million dollar fortune. I'm touched and uh, unfortunately I, I'm not drunk and uh, lucky to be at large. Thank you. <laughs> In addition to the extraordinary amount of money he gets paid for each new film role, Nicholson has invested a significant portion of his overall worth in an incredible $100 million real estate portfolio that's comprised of at least a dozen properties across the continental United States. Out of his slew of properties, three stand out for a few different reasons. First, there's his longtime multi-property compound located on Mulholland Drive in Beverly Hills, California. Then there's his former vacation home located in Aspen, Colorado, that he purchased solely so that he could watch Lakers games. And finally, there's a 70-acre estate in Malibu, California that he once attempted to sell back in 2011 before ultimately deciding to hold on to the property for good. And while Jack has gone out of his way to prevent pictures of his homes from leaking to the media that hasn't stopped the rumor mill from churning out a series of unbelievable stories about his one-of-a-kind lifestyle too. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of Jack Nicholson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Jack Nicholson's home base is a gigantic multi-parcel compound located high above Los Angeles on the famed Mulholland Drive that totals just under three acres of land. Jack picked up the first piece of land in 1969. At the time, it contained little more than a simple 3,303 square foot house. About 25 years later, Jack would add adjacent parcels, each with a modest sized home also located on the grounds. Finally, in 2005, he would pay an additional $5 million to purchase yet more land from the estate of his late associate, Marlon Brando. After purchasing Brando's home, Nicholson would tear down his friend's former abode because it had fallen into a state of disrepair and was totally covered in mold. Now, since this is Jack's primary residence, he hasn't exactly invited the press in to give a tour, but in La La Land, especially about a home that was once billed as the wildest house in Hollywood. Back in Jack's heyday in the 60s and 70s, drug and alcohol-fueled sex parties were all the norm, and Jack did his best to host his own share of those right from his swinging bachelor pad. In Jack's memoir, written by author Mark Elliott, it states, there was round the clock partying, drinks, drugs, sex, lots of tea, the smoking kind, and beautiful hot woolen girls who love to get just as high as the boys and have a good time. Legend even goes that Nicholson's refrigerator in the home never had any food in it whatsoever. Instead, all it contained was beer and a little bit of milk to keep Jack's sensitive stomach under control. As for what was in the freezer, just pot. This home is also notorious for being the location of Roman Polanski's alleged sex assault on a teenager during a 1977 photo shoot. He's been on the run from authorities and living in exile ever since. On March the 10th, 1977, Nicholson's home, while his friend was away. And I'm, I'm like, yes, because I don't, I want to, I'm trying to be and if you think that's crazy, according to the folks over at Playboy, Jack had a secret tunnel that led from his property to the Playboy Mansion so that he could party with Hugh and the bunnies at a moment's notice. Others deny the existence of such things, but the magazine claims one of its editors was sifting through archive photos for a feature on Hugh when he discovered Polaroids pertaining to a large-scale excavation underneath the mansion. They also unearthed a treasure trove of materials, including old photos and blueprints. Reportedly found in all of this was proof that Jack, as well as other actors like Warren Beatty, Kirk Douglas, and James Ken, all had secret tunnels built from their homes that led direct 
lead to the mansion. Apparently the tunnels were shut down sometime in 1989 and Hugh was never willing to discuss their use afterwards. That being said, I can see why Jax never left this place in Beverly Hills. For a long time, he literally had anything he could have possibly wanted within arm's reach. Way back when, in January of 1980, Jack Nicholson and a friend split $550,000 for a tiny but entirely cozy vacation home located in Aspen, Colorado, dubbed Newberry House by the locals. The story behind the house goes a little something like this. During the closing months of 1979, Jack and record producer Lou Adler were both living out of rentals in the snowy resort town. The two were close friends but were suffering from an annoying problem. The television reception in both of their homes was incredibly poor. So what did they do? They teamed up and they bought a home simply to improve the quality of their cable signal. You guys know that Nicholson can't miss a Lakers game, right? In fact, legend has it that when he agreed to play the Joker in Tim Burton's Batman, he also agreed to cut his salary in half as long as the producer promised him that he'd never have to miss a game. That's how important the team is to him. Jack's obsession with the Lakers has cost him a pretty penny over the years, and this vacation home in Aspen is just a small part of it. Now it's unclear exactly how much time Nicholson has spent here over the years, but he does like to spend Christmas there as often as possible. And in 1987, his 5,800 square foot home was added to the National Register of Historic Places. The green gabled home was first built in 1895 for one of Aspen's earliest residents, William Shaw, and the entire property overlooks Hallam Lake. Historic documents suggest that the home boasts five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a large wraparound porch on a quarter acre of land. There's also some type of unusual carriage house located on the land as well. Another bonus, the home is only a short walk away from the hustle and bustle of the downtown Aspen core. Not a bad little place for a vacation home, right? I mean, sure, buying a house just to watch basketball is a bit much, but hey, the Lakers were must-see TV back in the 80s. Then again, it also paid off for Jack and Lou in the long run. Back in 2012, the two decided to finally part with the home and split the profits on a staggering $11 million. Don't forget, they only spent 550 k on the home in the first place. Talk about a killing. Finally, the last one of Jack's homes worth taking a peek at is the 70 acre spread located high up in the Santa Monica Mountains just above Malibu. This magnificent and remote estate is comprised of three separate parcels, the first two of which Jack purchased in July of 1977 for an undisclosed amount of money. 13 years later, he'd complete his vision for the property when he acquired the third and largest parcel. The single story main house comes in at just 2,313 square feet according to property records and contains three bedrooms and two bathrooms plus a fully stocked staff quarters with an additional bathroom. Over the years that he's owned the home, Jack would transform the property in a recreational hideaway complete with a swimming pool, party-sized spa, fully illuminated tennis courts, miles of private hiking trails, and a putting green littered with miniature red flags. Then in 2011, Nicholson would put the home up for sale for $4.25 million. Despite being listed, details on the property were kept to a minimum and all Nicholson would reveal about the home was that it includes a guest house and a caretaker residence. Holding the details so close to his chest may be the reason why no one ever bit in the sale. Rather than keep it listed, Jack eventually pulled it off the market and kept the home in his real estate portfolio ever since. All right, so there you have it, the impressive and expansive real estate holdings of one of Hollywood's most famous and beloved actors, Jack Nicholson. The man owns a number of other homes as well, but the details on almost all of the other properties are few and far between. Be sure to take a moment to let us know what you thought about Jack's homes in the comments or which was your fave of the three. And if there's another member of Hollywood royalty whom you'd like to see profiled on this series, then leave some names down below. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!